Well, uh, some months back, uh, early in the year, I interviewed uh, this Dallas rapper named Lil Loaded. And I had actually known about this now for, for a few weeks. But uh, this morning, he actually turned himself in uh, for a murder of his friend, who, ironically enough, is called Savage Boosie. Savage Boosie? Yeah. Oh, they finna say Boosie got... When is that? Uh, well, he turned himself in today. We just broke the story. He actually had a picture of, of the dude on his Instagram, you know, with a rest in peace and everything else like that. I had known about this story now for a few weeks, but, you know, I know some people close to him and they asked me not to not to put it out because he... Basically, he went on the run after this happened and he just turned himself in this morning. So if I had put out the story, that would have created a, you know, a situation around him, you know, basically spending his last few days of freedom. But from what I understand of this story, and, and this, this is something that I've talked about. It seems like they were filming a music video with a bunch of live guns and a gun went off and killed his friend. Damn. Niggas be loaded, man. Niggas be loaded with them guns and they aim, man. And you gotta keep one in the head at a video shoot. Ain't no time to cop. Everybody got one in the head. Everybody don't need guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn, and bro, that's just some, bro, that's some bad ass look. Yeah. Damn, yeah. bro. That's sad, brother. Right, because Little Loaded is 20 years old. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Savage Boosie, I think, was like 18. And I, I had talked about this before in my interviews. Like, in my early days, like before Vlad TV, when I was doing DVDs, I was doing shit with game and, you know, and everything else like that, I would I would go to the hood. And go to and go to these trap houses and go to these studios and dudes will pull out guns and, and wave them all in the in my, in my camera and everything else like that. I, I did this myself. Like like I I could relate. Yeah. And because it, it's you know it looks you know the visuals look crazy and and you know you know the guns are real and everything else like that. And I always said like yo to all the cameramen out there or whoever else, stop doing these fucking videos with with these guns floating around like that because someone's gonna get shot. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I don't know if you know the story, but Bruce Lee's son got killed on a movie set with a gun that wasn't unloaded properly. I thought that's how Bruce Lee got killed. Nah, Bruce Lee died. He he had some some uh, medical shit going on. Oh. Yeah, no, nah, he, he died in his sleep. His son, this is how his son died. And it's just like, you know, I, I've been to movie sets. Right, and I've 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 in, I've even interviewed like the the, the gun um, whatever the gun experts on site are called. They basically have all the guns, and they're responsible for making sure everything's unloaded for the scenes. And, and you know, I mean, it's it's like a, a full time job. But you go to these little these little video shoots. There's no one like this on there. A bunch of motherfuckers are pulling their real guns out. They're all loaded, and you know. They're doing them in areas where their enemies might drive by and it might be a real shooting. Like you said, they have one in the head. And and, and look look what the fuck happened, man. He killed his own friend on accident. Named Savage Boosie. Which obviously was influenced by y'all. <laughs> I mean, between... Yeah, you bro, know, Boosie, sa sa yeah, Savage Life, Bo Boosie Badass, Savage Boosie sounds like kind of a, a mixture of those of those two names. Right. Uh, yeah, man, it's sad. I, I interviewed the kid. You know, he was about probably like nineteen when I interviewed him. You know, he was fresh off the block. He just got a deal with Epic. You know, he had some songs that were reacting. The way he even got on was kind of interesting because. He was putting out these videos and no one was really watching. And there was some some YouTuber from Poland that basically made a video of like 
you know, music videos with zero views. And they just so happened to, to show Little Loaded's video, and that video just blew up off of there. And the next thing you know, he gets signed and he's got features and he got a career. But, you know, he's still going back to where he's from and he's still doing these videos. And now, look, I mean, a situation like that, I mean, that's probably not a murder. It's probably a, a manslaughter. But, but still. Depends on how the family victim, the victim of the family is taken. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's it's a waste. It's a waste for everybody and a, and a tragedy for everybody. 